everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Hobby Hussy. Uh, today I'm going to be making a resin art piece. And um, let's see, this is what I want it to look like or something like this. I've bought um, another plaque. I bought two of them. This is the one I'm going to be working on today. But I am going to coat it with or paint it, kind of finger paint it with um, Pearl X powders and alcohol to make it stick and then we'll let it dry and then I will put some resin on it and hopefully it will look something like this. So um, that's it. Let's get started. This is what I started out with. It's a chalkboard plaque from Walmart and first I cut off the end of the rope hanger at the right next to the knot so that I can use it again if I have to. And then I clean it with some alcohol. First I spray it with some alcohol. And this has some Pearl X powder in it. So that'll give it just a tiny bit of color. I'm sure you can't see um, much of it. And you can use your, uh, let's see, this is super russet color. And this is a really pretty color, but just smear it on here. That's what I'm doing. And you can use your finger or a brush if you want to, and you can just do all kinds of stuff, anything you want. And I am just going for uh, designs. love white on these things. I need to make sure that you uh, don't mix your your um, powders. Okay. And then I'm going to spray a little bit more. And I love this blue. It doesn't show up as good as I had hoped. On the black though. Yellow. Let me see what this is actually called. Brilliant gold. <laughs> it looks kind of yellow to me. Oh no, I'm mixing my colors. Purple, Misty Lavender. My daughter's name is Misty Autumn, and I just I love that name. Okay, my fingers like getting. fingers getting all colored. Well, my lavender is not looking very lavender. It's looking more blue. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I love doing this on the black because it gives it such a good background. Okay, my 
lavender is not showing up well enough. But that's okay. Okay, I am going to sprinkle a little more alcohol and use a different finger <laughs> and put some white in here. Oops! That's what happens when you drop it. It's kind of cool how it splatters out like that though. <laughs> But when you get it how you want it, just let it dry. This alcohol has to dry out completely before we put um, resin on it. Now I'm mixing my amazing clear cast resin, equal parts of A and B. Mix it up really well and I put it in a bowl full of hot tap water and mix it some more. And now I am taping up the holes on the back side of my board. This is just so that the resin doesn't fall through and you keep on using more and more resin and you're wondering why. Tape it off. Now I pour the resin over the painting and put a decent coat on it, not a thin coat, but not a really thick coat either. And you can tilt it back and forth to try and spread the resin out. And then put some more resin on it. And I heat it up with the heat gun to pop some bubbles and to make it more fluid and it makes it clearer and it gives it a glossier look. And now I spray paint it with those three colors and I do it in the diagonal and I am spraying some alcohol on my fingers and then kind of flinging it at the painting. And that didn't exactly give me what I wanted so I tapped it with my fingers and then I put some more resin on it. But when you put the spray paint on there you kind of got to take it off somehow so you can do it with your fingers or you can do it with a paper towel or if you're quick enough, you can do it with the alcohol, but I wasn't quick enough. My spray paint is kind of dried on a little bit, but it's not ruined. So I'm tapping it with my fingers and taking some of the spray paint off to reveal the painting underneath. And then I put some more colored resin on. And I'm using a paper towel to take off some of the spray paint because it's dried on me. And this reveals some of the painting underneath. And it gives it a very dimensional look to do a finger painting, then resin, then spray paint, and then some more resin. It, it's really a cool look that I really like. And now I'm putting some more colored resin on there. Now my resin, clear resin, is still wet. And you can put the colored resin on any way you like. Just get creative with it.
And now I'm using the heat gun to kind of heat it up and spread it out a little bit. I want to kind of blur it a little bit. And you see how the original finger painting is kind of showing through in spots. That's the way I wanted it. And I'm adding some more colored resin. And it's just a personal preference. Just get creative however you want to do it. And then I blow it around with the heat gun again. It can be a never ending process if you don't uh, control yourself. I always have to stop myself. I love this teal color. It's called Dragon Skin, I think, but I put it in the description. And now I'm flinging alcohol at it again. And you can spray the alcohol on it, but it wasn't giving me enough of an effect that I liked. And here I'm sprinkling glitter on it, and I really like the way the glitter looks. And this is how it looks when it's completely dried, and I still need to clear coat it, but this is what it looks like. And that was it. Um, thank you for watching another Hobby Hussy video. Please like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much.